Hi, welcome to May Love. We had done a deep dive into collagen video where we briefly mentioned taking collagen powder as a means of improving wrinkles and overall skin. Many of you responded and asked us to expand on the topic of oral collagen supplementation. Do they work or are they just another bogus fad and waste of money? This is the short answer. Yes, collagen powders actually work. Studies show that the best collagen to take is from pigs, also known as porcine collagen. This is because pig skin is very similar to human skin. Basically, the closer the collagen is to the human skin collagen, the better that works as a supplement. If, however, you're a pescatarian, marine collagen will also work, although to a lesser extent. And then there are plant collagens. These are pretty iffy in terms of the research out there. Plants don't make collagen, so if you read the fine print, these plant collagen powders do not contain collagen, but instead they contain other ingredients like vitamins that might help your skin produce more collagen, although these claims really haven't been validated. I know that many of you who are vegan will be disappointed to hear this, but don't worry because there are tons of vegan topical serums and creams that you can use to help build up collagen. For example, May Love's entire skincare lineup is vegan. And finally, when you shop for a collagen powder, you want to go with a product that says hydrolyzed collagen or collagen peptides both of which means that the collagen proteins are chopped up into smaller pieces. So in today's video, we're doing a deep dive into oral collagen and the specifics of what to look for when taking it. If you wanna know more, keep watching. And if you're new here, my name is Jackie and I'm the CEO and Chief Product Obsessor here at Maylove. <music> collagen powder, oral collagen. Are they legitimate? As we mentioned in our deep guide to collagen video, which you can access with the link in the description, the collagen content of your skin decreases with age. And this decrease is responsible for deepening and spreading wrinkles as we get older. So in our prior video, we talked about our three favorite topical ingredients for boosting collagen, vitamin C, retinoids, and niacinamide. These come in the form of serums and creams that you can put on your skin. We had also mentioned that oral collagen supplementation, like all of those collagen powder supplements you see everywhere, which many studies have shown is effective for boosting the collagen content of your skin. But there are some nuances to keep in mind, so let's go through them. One thing is clear though. Studies show that oral collagen supplementation is not bogus at all, and it actually works. Hydrolyzed collagen has shown positive results for improving skin hydration, elasticity, and wrinkles in multiple randomized double-blind trials. Side note, what is randomized and double-blind? Randomized means that test subjects are randomly assigned to get either the real deal or the placebo. Double-blind means that both the test subject and the investigator administering the study on the test subjects don't know who is getting the real deal and who is getting the placebo. They are both blind to what the subject is getting. It is a technique researchers use to try to eliminate bias. What should you look for when shopping for collagen powder? As you know, nowadays there are tons of collagen powder products that you can buy. Long story short, the best collagen supplements for skin have the following characteristics. First, it is close to human skin collagen. Second, it comes in a hydrolyzed form. And now let's go deeper into these nuances. Which collagen source is the best? Pigs, cows, fishes, or plants? So what's the best type of collagen to buy then? If you can't find something that says it's hydrolyzed collagen from porcine skin, which is pig skin, that would be the ideal and that would be the best. The more different the collagen is from the collagen in your actual skin, the less benefit you'll receive from them. For example, marine collagen from fish has been compared to collagen from pig skin in a head-to-head -head study and it was shown that collagen from pigs is superior. Let me point you to a study conducted by Asarin and colleagues. You can see in this figure which compared placebo to two types of collagen peptides, one from fish labeled peptin F and one from pigs labeled peptin P. And after about eight weeks, the peptides from porcine sources outperformed both those from fish sources and placebo in benefiting the skin. However, to be fair, fish collagen was better than the placebo. So now we know it helps to take it, regardless of what source it comes from. So why is there this performance gap? Because the collagen in pig skin is more similar to that in human skin. And then there's more. 
It's known that marine and bovine collagen from cows can cause an allergic reaction while porcine collagen is not found to trigger allergic reactions. Why? Again, it's due to the similarity of pig skin collagen to human skin collagen. That being said, marine and bovine collagen still have been shown to have skin benefits compared to placebo in double-blind trials. If you're a vegan or vegetarian, then oral supplementation of collagen is tricky for the simple fact that plants do not naturally make collagen. Plants make other structural proteins that build up their cell walls, but what is marketed as plant collagen varies widely from product to product, but is generally a mix of amino acids, which are the building blocks of proteins, and also minerals like silica and zinc, and vitamins like vitamin C, A, and biotin. So these are not collagen at all, but just other ingredients that in theory could boost your body's ability to produce collagen. For example, as we outlined in our earlier video, The Deep Guide to Collagen, vitamin C is a necessary cofactor in collagen production. Furthermore, when applied topically, clinical studies show topical vitamin C can boost skin collagen content. So this is proven. However, Oral vitamin C supplementation has not yet been clinically proven to boost skin collagen levels. In other words, what is sold as plant collagen is not collagen, but a collection of other ingredients that in theory could boost collagen production, but has not yet been clinically shown to do so, and so is not yet scientifically validated. It is true that scientists have begun to genetically modify plants and microorganisms so that they can make human collagen. But as of now, March 2023, outside of a laboratory, plants do not make collagen. Look for hydrolyzed collagen or collagen peptides. The collagen that can be absorbed into your skin should ideally come in the hydrolyzed form of tripeptides. Hydrolyzed here basically means take the large collagen protein and break them up into smaller pieces. Yazaki and colleagues tested collagen peptides hydrolyzed into two groups of peptides. One group had peptides in the size range of 1500 to 1800 Dalton, which were mostly tripeptides, so only three amino acids in length. And the other group had mostly larger peptides in the size range of 4500 to 5500 Dalton. So this group is made up of larger peptide chains that were much more longer than three amino acids in length. So let's just call them small peptides group and big peptides group. A side note on proteins, peptides, and amino acids. Amino acids are the building blocks of proteins. You get these from your diet, of which there are nine essential amino acids, and from these nine, your body can produce the rest of the 11 amino acids it needs. Peptides are short chains of amino acids that are connected by peptide bonds. Dipeptides are two amino acids in length, and tripeptides are three amino acids in length. Anything longer you would just call peptides or peptide chains. If the chains are longer than 50 amino acids in length, they are called polypeptides or just called proteins. When you chop up a protein into short pieces by hydrolyzing it, the protein becomes peptides. So in other words, proteins are just really long chains of amino acids and peptides are shorter chains of amino acids. So if you chop up proteins like collagen by hydrolysis, they become collagen peptides. Yazaki and colleagues found that those subjects in the small peptides group had a much greater increase of collagen peptide levels in the blood compared to the big peptides group. And then in another part of the study conducted in animals, they showed that peptides from the blood accumulated in the skin. So that showed that collagen tripeptides could be taken orally and be transferred to the skin via the bloodstream. So it seems like when it comes to oral supplements, hydrolysis into tripeptides rather than larger fragments is much more effective. But wait, there's more. Dietary supplementation with hydrolyzed collagen may have other benefits beyond just making your skin look good. Muscle atrophy in older adults can be improved by oral collagen supplementation after exercise. Those with osteoarthritis or rheumatoid arthritis also benefit from oral supplementation of collagen. However, the collagen types that operate in cartilage are different from that in the skin. In the skin, we find mostly type 1 collagen and some type 3 collagen, while cartilage has mostly type 2 collagen. So to be precise, for joint pains and recovery, a supplement with type 2 collagen is better. However, 
Supplements may sometimes, but not always, tell you if they are type 1 or type 2. But if not, check to see what the source is. If it says it is from skin, that means it is mostly type 1 collagen with some type 3 collagen. That being said, any type of collagen is beneficial. For example, type 1 collagen can still be beneficial for pain and osteoarthritis, perhaps due to anti-inflammatory effects or other reasons that are not yet fully understood. How does oral collagen work? The exact mechanisms by which oral collagen works to benefit the skin is still not entirely known, and there may be more than one mechanism involved. As mentioned, Yazaki and colleagues showed transfer of collagen peptides taken orally into the skin. Other studies have added to the finding and suggest a more complicated picture of how orally taken collagen can actually boost collagen content in the skin. Oral collagen supplementation may work directly on the fibroblasts themselves or they may work via macrophages and other immune-related processes. Side note on fibroblasts and macrophages. Fibroblasts are cells in the deeper layer of your skin, and these are the cells that produce the good stuff like collagen and elastin that give your skin structure, firmness, elasticity, and hydration. Macrophages are immune cells that defend your body. They can activate fibroblasts to produce more collagen, particularly in relation to wound healing. So collagen peptides might make the macrophages think that there is a wound and stimulate the fibroblasts to produce more collagen. What is known for sure is that oral collagen has been validated through multiple randomized double-blind studies and that they certainly benefit skin. I take collagen powder myself and I definitely recommend it. It's not easy to shop specifically for the best collagen powder, but as we mentioned, the best will be hydrolyzed collagen from porcine skin. Frankly, I am not too fussy about it because even collagen such as from fish sources are still beneficial and what's important is consistency. That's it for today's video. If you like this type of content, please support us by liking and subscribing. Thanks and see you again soon.